Today, we'll talk about seven business ideas that you can start right now as a teenager. All of them can be side hustles or grown into a full-time business. The first business idea is video editing, which is something I have a lot of experience with and have been doing for many years. Right now, video editors are in extremely high demand. Small businesses, influencers, local schools, and even churches are all in need of video editing for social media. This is something that can be done completely at home or in whatever spare time you have. Video editing is a skill that can be self-taught and easily learned. You do not have to have tons of experience before beginning to make a project with a company. The way I learned to edit was through a trial and error process. The more content that you work on, the better that you will get. There are many ways to learn outside of going to school for this. YouTube is a great resource to use to learn the basics of video editing. You do not need any fancy equipment. Using a phone or computer is a great starting point. Cameras, stands, and other equipment are not necessary. However, if you have them or can afford them, they can be a great tool to use. You might be asking yourself, how do I get clients? The answer is pretty simple. In my experience, you should start by doing projects for free for people that are in need. This could be your family, your friends, anyone that you know that might own a business. You could use these projects to build your portfolio and send to other businesses that are willing to pay for your services and need video editors. A more bold route would be making videos for small businesses by taking the initiative to go to their business and film your own content that showcases their products. By making a video for them, you can sell your talents to them by showing them how your work will increase the quality of their content. As far as pricing goes, starting low would be your best route to go. Pricing should depend on who your clients are and what type of editing and projects they want. Short form content for small businesses could start around $50 to $100 per month and that would translate to around two videos per month. You'd be able to take on more clients if you're making short form content. Over time, you can increase your clientele quantity as well as increase your pricing as your editing skills improve. As you gain more experience working with smaller clients, you can begin to advertise your work to larger clients that you want to do more in-depth projects with which would mean more money per job. Overall, my advice is to start small and put in the time to hone in your editing skills and work your way up towards bigger and better projects. The second business idea is starting a dog walking company. As dog ownership has increased in the last couple of years, roughly over 90 million dogs in the US alone. The demand for dog sitters and walkers has also increased. This is a great business to start small and close to home, but has endless opportunity to grow. People are very busy and want their pets to be cared for when they may not always have the time. Start by advertising your services in your neighborhood by going door to door, or posting in neighborhood Facebook groups. Word of mouth will also help you gain more clients. There are also different dog walking apps that you can use to advertise your services on like Rover and WAG. I would recommend beginning as a dog walker. You can start charging around $20 per dog for at least a 30 minute walk. To increase your profits, you can walk multiple dogs at the same time. As you build your client roster and create trust, you can move from dog walking to dog sitting as well. Dog sitting will require you to stay in the dog's home and fully care for them while the owner is away or have them stay at your home. This service can start around $45 per day or around $75 per night, depending on what the owner is looking for in your service. Another service you might be able to provide is picking up dog poop for people. Some people might not have the time to go around and get all the poop picked up before their lawn needs to be mowed or before an event, which is where you would come in. This service does not take up a lot of time, allowing you to take on many clients. You would just need a bucket and a shovel or bag as equipment which is very low cost, and you could dispose of the poop in their trash when you're finished. Pricing for this could vary depending on the number of dogs a client has, the size of their yard, and the frequency requested for the service. For one to two dogs in an average size backyard with once a week service, you could start around 20 to $30. So with that, dog walking, dog sitting, and picking up dog poop, I think they're all great ideas, and that's something you can start very easily. The third business idea is providing some type of cleaning service service. Everyone loves a clean home, a clean car, and a clean life. There are so many houses that need to be cleaned and the people living there do not have the time to do it. It is challenging to find cleaning services to come over within a week of being called. While this is great for cleaning services, meaning their business is thriving, it provides frustration for consumers that need their things to be cleaned in a quick and timely manner. There is a large demand for house cleaning and that's why it makes a great business to capitalize on. You can advertise your services simply 
simply by going door to door in a neighborhood and creating flyers. House cleaning pricing will depend on the house size and the number of rooms getting cleaned. Larger homes can start around $400. However, if you offer a lower rate to begin with, around $100, people will be very eager to book your services. You could also provide add-on services such as organizing people's closets or pantries for additional costs. There are also other things that people are in need of being cleaned. Some ideas would be cleaning pools, cars, or even garages. For pool cleaning, you would need to make sure you know how to properly use the equipment, where the pumps for the pool are, which the owner can probably help you with that on your first time. Cleaning an average size pool weekly can start around $50 and increase depending on the size of the pool. Cleaning your garage will require more equipment such as trash bins, bags, a broom, rags, towels, and potentially water to clean the ground. For a two car garage, the price to clean can start around $75. Additional services you could provide for garage cleaning, similar to house cleaning, could be organizing things like tools, toys, and lawn equipment. As far as car cleaning goes, you can clean the inside or outside of the car or both. Equipment for exterior cleaning would be water, soap, wax, towels. Equipment for interior cleaning will be towels, trash bags, seat cleaners, wipes, and a vacuum. Exterior car cleaning pricing for a small car can start around $35 to $50. Pricing for interior cleaning on a small car can be $50 to $100. Also pricing can vary depending on the size of the vehicle and how dirty it is. As you gain experience and more clients, you can increase your pricing as it meets the demand. The fourth business is a long hair business, which is always in high demand. There are so many aspects to a home outdoor care that can make this a year-round business no matter what the weather is like where you live. So many people do not have the time to take care of the upkeep of the outside of their homes. They want it to look clean and nice. You can provide mowing services where you would need a lawnmower, a weed whacker, and a leaf blower to keep the cuttings off the pavement around the house. If you live in a climate where the weather changes, you can provide a full-time leaf pickup which would require leaf bags, a rake, or a leaf blower. In the winter time, snow shoveling is a high demand service where you would just need a shovel and possibly some salt if the customer requests that. In the springtime, you could offer a yard cleanup service, which would be picking up debris off the lawn from winter, raking up leaves, and general yard cleanup. If you are in a warmer climate, you can strictly provide just lawn care. Additional services you could provide to your clients are things like putting up and taking down holiday lighting, as well as garden care, which could be something like watering or weeding. In my experience, pricing for lawn care can vary depending on the size of the yard and the frequency. Our lawn care person charges around $25 per week, which is about $100 per month, and he does about 10 houses in our neighborhood, making him at least $1,000 dollars per month from our neighborhood alone. For raking leaves, you could start around $50 to $75 per complete yard. Snow shoveling for an average size driveway, $15 to $20 per time. Spring cleanup, you could offer $50 per yard depending on how much work there is to be done. This could also be done at an hourly rate depending on how much each house has. Similar to the previous businesses advertising, for this business, it would be best done just by creating flyers, going door to door to grow clientele, doing a good lawn care service. As you gain more clients, word of mouth will also help you advertise. The fifth business that you could create is a social media marketing business. Similar to video editing, social media marketing can be done at home or in your spare time. You only need a phone or computer if you have one. There are many businesses that need to post on social media frequently and they do not have an employee that they want to pay full time to do that and that would be where you would come in. You could reach out to some of these small businesses and offer to manage their accounts for around $100, $200 per month. This price can vary depending on the amount that you want to post as well as the time that you're putting in to the content. For example, if you're making the content for someone as well as posting it, you can charge more for your services. Additionally, you could provide targeted services such as answering messages, responding to comments, and working on growing the account. The additional services will allow you to increase the amount you charge as well. The main platforms being used are Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Every business has at least one account on one of these platforms. Your services could be focused to one platform, or if you're well versed in all platforms, you can work with businesses to grow their following 
in other areas as well. That being said, it's okay to focus on one specific platform and become an expert. You could reach out to businesses mainly using the platform you're experienced with and manage only accounts on the platform you prefer. Another way to increase your profits would be selling your services as a multi-platform expert and help the business use more platforms than they already do. Like with video editing, as you grow your portfolio and gain experience, you can begin to charge more for your services, as well as reach out to larger clients and make social media marketing your full-time business. In my previous experience as a social media manager, I had anywhere from one to three accounts per month each account wanted something different from me as their manager. Some wanted me to grow their following, while others wanted me to just post consistently and help respond to their clients. My pricing depended on the amount of time and tasks each company wanted me to do for them. From when I first started, it ranged from about $250 to $500. In a couple of years in, it was about $500 to $750 per month. So with that, I would just reach out to a small business, ask them if they need help with posting their content content on their social medias, offer them a low rate. As soon as you get one client, you can then keep pitching to more and more clients. And as you build more and more, it's easier to sell to the next one. The sixth business you could start as a teenager is a street vending business. For a street vending business, you could go in multiple different directions. This is more of a wild card idea, requiring you to be a little bit older or be supervised by an adult. There are many events going on in towns and cities. With events come long lines of people. While people are waiting in the line, there are different things that you could offer them. In the summer, you could sell bottled water or cold drinks. On days that many people are out out later in the evening and looking for some food. You could sell packaged snacks or even start a small corner hot dog stand. This is great for someone who is closer to a larger city where there is always people out and about during the day and night. You can use things like the weather to your advantage to change what you want to sell. Like on cold days, you could offer hot chocolate and coffee instead of bottled water. If you know there is an event going on in your area where people will be out later in the evening, thinking of a late night menu idea like hot dogs, nachos, that could appeal to that clientele more. I think there is a huge opportunity to sell to people after leaving concerts, bars, or even late night events. People leaving are hungry and willing to spend money. Some items that I have seen being sold at these late night times are hot dogs, water, chips and pizza. There are many other options as well. You just want to make sure that you're not making it too hard on yourself. A great way to keep your profit margins higher while keeping your prices lower is buying from stores to offer products in bulk such as Sam's Club, Costco, or Gordon's Food Service. If you're looking to sell pizza, you could go to a cheap pizza store and buy a pizza for five to ten dollars, resell the slices for two dollars, or their entire box to a group of people for fifteen to twenty dollars. People are hungry and do not want to wait in line at the pizza store or they don't want to wait for delivery so you bringing products to them will make your business thrive you'll need to have paper plates and napkins which you can buy in bulk beforehand if you do have a cart or stand you'll need a license or permit to sell and you can speak with your local township office about this this is definitely a hustle and it'll be a grind and it'll take a lot of hard work but you can learn a lot from doing it the final business you can start as a teenager is a tutoring or coaching business many parents are looking for someone to help with their children's academics. Being in school yourself, you have more recently learned academic skills to help younger children improve their schoolwork than most of their parents might remember. This allows you to help kids either finish their homework on time, work on papers, read at a higher level, or improve their math skills. For tutoring, depending on the age of the child and the level they are learning at, you can charge anywhere from $10 to $20 per hour. Also, for tutoring, you might need to bring some resources to help with the learning, like books, writing utensils, calculators, etc. People need help with all different forms of learning. And if you excel in specific areas, you can change someone's life. If you want to grow your business and you excel academically, you can open your services to people of all ages outside of just your school district. You could even help older people learn how to work computers or learn the latest technology. On the flip side of academics, you could be a sports or coach instructor. Some parents might be looking for their children to get a little extra help with their sport and if it's something you already play and have the experience with 
that you can offer your services. Working with a child for one hour, two times a week on different skills for the sport they're trying to learn or improve, you could charge about $20 per session. You would need to bring the equipment if necessary or make sure the parents know what is needed. So with that, tutoring is a great way to make a little bit of extra cash. And if you want to go full time with it, it's definitely a possibility. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which idea you thought was the best. Video editing, dog walking, cleaning service, social media manager, lawn service, street vending, or tutoring. Peace.